Well, I think as I always told him, keep yourself a smile. Keep God first in your life. Always be respectful. Stay humble and committed to your goals. And the sky is the limit. You know, the world be yours, at least success could be. When I first started playing basketball, uh, I'll say like, I think when I was in Virginia, like when I started hooping, like, I had like a little, like, you know, the little tight goals and whatever. Like my mom said, like, that's the first thing I picked up was a ball. And like, she seen me like go up and dunk it or something, something crazy like that. So like, I think that's the first time I started hooping. Oh gosh, he's been playing as long as I can remember him just picking up the ball and running around with it. And I'm like, I think he might really like this. So, you know, he's always been pretty energetic, so. Well, for the longest time, like, football is my favorite sport. Like, I thought that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to the NFL. But then, like, like one day, like, it just, like, clicked with me. Like, I think I had maybe, like, 20-something points in, like, a game when it was, like, basketball season. And, like, I just realized how much more fun I have playing basketball than football. So, like, ultimately, like, when I got in middle school, I told my parents, like, I don't want to play football anymore. So I played all the way up to middle school, and I didn't want to play anymore. Back then, he's always been taller than everybody, so he used to play big man. He's a real uncoordinated dude. Like, nobody thought he was, like, going to really be good. And so, like, back then, he was a big man. So it was more like, you know what I'm saying, now playing with him, like, now he's a guard. It was just a lot different. But he's always, like, he's made an impact on the game, like, ever since we were younger. So that's, I appreciate that about his game. When I had a couple bad games or, like, I wasn't getting recruited as heavily as I thought I was, I was thinking, like, man, maybe it's not for me. Like, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. Like, I don't think this is the path I'm supposed to be on, but, like, I had, like, good people in the background, like, you know, motivating me, keep me up, keep me high spirits. And they're the reason why I am where I am today, and I still got a long ways to go. Well, you know, with Kate, he's never a dull moment. Because he always wants something. He always wants to do something. He always wants to be a trendsetter, a trailblazer. I like that. He meets people very easily. Uh, he seems to attract a lot of people. Like, I didn't, you know, when he told me about this, I'm like, how did this even happen? He really wants to play, and he wants to play at the next level. And so, of course, you want your kids to be able to accomplish their dreams. And so, we're really excited about it because... Everything that he got, he earned, he deserved, he got through hard work. And he made the personal sacrifice. One of the things that I always would tell him is that once you rise to a certain level, the expectations change for you. You can't have a normal, a normal high school life. If he's fortunate enough to play at a high level in college, that's going to continue. You're not going to be having a normal college life. I love hype. I love the hype. I love the attention. I love it all. Because, like, I feel like I perform at my best when all eyes are on me. When I feel like expectations are high, that's when I raise my game to the highest level. You know, they have huge expectations, and I think he has embraced that. I think he wanted to go to a school that didn't have a strong basketball tradition to make a basketball power. By the time I finished visit TCU, like, I knew that's where I wanted to go. Like, he kind of had that home feeling that I just, I just vibed with everybody there. My dad inspires me. Uh, my, my, pe my parents, my sister, they all push me, you know. I, my goal is for my parents not to work anymore. You know what I'm saying? I want to make it to the league so they don't have to worry about anything. I'm pretty sure one day he's going to make it to the NBA. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of fame, a lot of money, but don't let him get to it. I always keep working and, uh, you know what I'm saying, keep, it, keep your head to the ground. Stick to your values. Always put God first. And once you do that, everything else is going to fall in place. All right, so BCV Baggage Claim was, it started last year when we were in the, like around playoff time. Like, I think we just got done playing like Arlington Seguin and I had like 20 points in like two quarters, like in the first half, something crazy like that. And like after the game, I had like a good game. I talked to my people. They was like, bro, Kaden, you using your bag, you using your bag. I was like, yeah, you know me, bro. Like I'm claiming all the, I just said it like that. We claiming all the bags. I said, yeah. And then someone said something. I said, yeah, Baggage Claim boys. And then my friend Munt was the one that said BCV. And like we wasn't expecting it to blow up like it did, but it kind of just like blew up. So like we added like Tyrese Maxey, Isaac Likely, Bryce Cook, like Chris Harris. We added Kim Milton. We added like Drew Timmy, like a lot of like people in there. So now it's like it's like a national thing. Like 
when I was in Cali, like, kids would come to me and say, like, bro, how'd I get in bags playing? How'd I get in BCB? Like, I was like, dang, like, what? Like, we just, like, we started a small town, like, in Milwaukee, and now we're, like, we're big. So, like, it means a lot to me.